Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 4.20 on July 15, 2014. Let me read this to you, then we'll look at the chart. The website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. First off, I am still um, looking for that 1990. But I made mention uh, in the notes that I did yesterday because I was spent the last, oh gosh, what, and ended up being about close to 30 hours with my son in the hospital, and I just couldn't do the video there. That wouldn't be appropriate. But I mentioned that we have a potential for a head and shoulders pattern here. This would not be an inverted pattern. This would be a head and shoulders top. And the pattern would, would set up like this, left shoulder, head, maybe a right shoulder. What we need in order to avoid that is we need to set a high that's above 1985. And 1990 would do. 2000 would do. You know, just anything. If we fail to reach this target and then we come down and take out, um, and I'm going to say take out both this neckline here and this green line that is a slightly rising resistance line that after it broke out, has served pretty well for support. Here it is. It was resistance here and here. We got above it, and ever since then, for the past month and a half, it has been support. So, that is really the long and short of it. This line is very important. If we take out 19... call it... <coughs> call it 1950... If we get underneath this low right here as well, which is at 1952, then we should um, be looking at a downside target instead of an upside of, of 1990. We would be looking at a downside target somewhere in the mid-1920s. Again, this has not happened yet, and when it does happen, this line moves around to measure uh, what the target would be. But I just wanted to point that out. Maybe dealing with a head and shoulders top here. Despite the fact that, um, that this is playing out like a bull flag here and here, this little pattern here. Let me get rid of that Keltner channel. I was using that for another stock. See, we came up. Bull flag came up, bull flag, how far now do we make it up? And, and obviously, after we break out, you know, there's some little reactive moves and things. We don't go a straight line up. So what we look at is we look at a series of higher highs and higher lows. Now, we did have a little channel here between this brown line and this blue line that developed pretty nicely. So let's uh, let's do a little experiment with uh, today's chart. Well, looky there. All those line up pretty good. They're not at that same pitch, okay? It is a much, uh, well, it's still a, a nice a nice move up, but not nearly as aggressive as we were back here. Then we create a parallel line right there. You can see that doesn't quite match. So, and, and, and these three lows do not match up. So I'm going to put this right here just like that. What's, what's a color that we don't have a lot on this chart? Let me see. Well, you know, we got a lot of we got a lot of colors on this chart. I probably need to clean this guy up a bit. Let's go with a dark green. So we're going to make this possible new channel dark green. Before I feel good about it, I would like to see one more move up here, and uh, and to really feel good about it, 
I would like to see, uh, obviously this line needs to hold, but I'd like to see a move up to this level here and then one back to tag this line, then maybe maybe even get on up to, uh, to challenge an even higher level than just 1990. So guys, I think that's uh, that's probably going to be about it. Just uh, just one more thing, you know, we've talked before about how often we find little technically significant twists and turns inside of channels. It might be fun just to uh, to look inside what's going on between this line and this line. Maybe just kind of on your own. Uh, take a look at that because I see a couple things already. I see this bounce right here is midway between the top and b uh, bottom line. I see uh, where we met some resistance today. Again, almost exactly halfway between the top and bottom line. When you see things like that, it it to my eye at least, it does tend to lend a little bit more credence to uh, to any pattern that you're studying at the time. So guys, there's your uh, video for uh, July 15th. Again, watch these two lines right here and right here. If they get taken out, then we, were, we are likely looking at a head and shoulders top with a target in the 1920s. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you for giving me a little time out of your day today. Take care.